Hi everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this updates video this morning. I hope that you're doing really great and we're going to be looking at both of these active tropical storms, Philippe and Rena. So the National Hurricane Center is now expecting that Philippe will acquire a hurricane status just to the east of the Lesser Antilles. The Euro model, by the way, is still taking the system much closer to the point of potential impacts. And so we'll be taking a look at all of that in this video, coupled with what is happening across the Caribbean and the rainfall forecast for today. And so let us go ahead and take a look at these satellite imagery. And here we can see this big blob out there that is associated with Philippe. And there is Rena. Rena is being heavily shared. And matter of fact, it is not expected to remain a tropical site cyclone for the next uh, couple of days and then all that activity we see out there in the main development region is in association with the latest tropical wave which had made its way from the African coast. Now as we drift toward the vicinity of the Caribbean there isn't a whole lot happening this morning. A couple of thunderstorms in some areas especially over in parts of northern Central America. Let's zoom into the region here we can see it. So uh, lots of moisture over here so likely some early morning showers and thunderstorms across portions of Mexico, Guatemala, Belize even as we head down to Honduras and uh, maybe some spots in El Salvador as well. So that is what is happening this morning, guys. Not a whole lot of activity across the region. And as you take a look at the rainfall forecast, this is from the Euro. So uh, this is as we head through most of today. We can see these brighter shades of oranges and reds over in parts of uh, Northern Central America. As we can see, there's already some rainfall activity in the area contributing to the rainfall total for the day. Even up in Florida, there could be some substantial activity especially later today maybe some isolated showers and thunderstorms across some spots in the bahamas and the turks and caicos islands similar story as we head to cuba jamaica hispaniola puerto rico maybe the virgin islands as well and some parts of the uh lesser antilles not everywhere is going to be experiencing that rainfall activity but there could be some passing showers and even a brief thunderstorm developing today as we head further south going to the southeast islands going to saint vincent the grenadines grenada trinidad at Tobago, uh, not a whole lot of rainfall activity. And we know how hot and dry it is for the ABC Islands. Unfortunately, that is going to be persistent. Same story as we head down to the Guyanas. We're not seeing much color here at all. So uh, it is likely going to be another hot and sunny day for Guyana, Suriname, and French Guyana. But over in Venezuela, parts of Colombia, and even heading to uh, Panama and Costa Rica, there could be some heavy downpours in some areas. So that is what the rainfall forecast is for the day. And now let's move back out into the main development region to talk about these two active tropical cyclones. So again, there we have the leap and there is Arena. So Arena is a heavily sheared system. As I said, it is not going to be lasted much longer out there. It should eventually become a remnant low as we head to the early part of the new week. And so uh, as for Philippe, we're seeing that it is trying to thrive out there. It is also sheared, but uh, not as badly compared to Arena. Let's go on to the cone forecast from the NHC starting out with Rena. So here it is. And as of the 5 a.m. advisory, uh, we can see here that the maximum sustained winds are around 50 miles per hour and it is moving to the west northwest at 10 miles per hour. So by early on Monday, it is forecast to become a post tropical cyclone, meaning that it is going to be losing its tropical characteristics and then eventually dissipate maybe when uh, Monday night head into Tuesday morning. So it's not going to be lasting very long out there. And uh, not going to be a bother for anyone either. Let's head on to Philippe, the main focus of this video. Here we can see that Philippe is also sustaining those winds of 50 miles per hour and it is moving to the south southwest at 5 miles per hour. And so we're seeing this little curve here expected before it makes its way up to the north and then out. But as I said, the Euro model still wants to take it closer to the Caribbean. And uh, I was even looking at the rainfall map over the course of the next four to five days and uh, it is even shown where some islands such as Antigua, Barbuda, uh, parts of Guadeloupe could experience a lot of heavy rainfall but that is not a guarantee. So I will continue to watch this and we'll see if NHC is going to be shifting this cone further to the west but I mean the rainfall as I've been saying in previous updates the rainfall would be great because it has been very hot and dry there hasn't really been any substantial rainfall especially for northeastern islands. So this would be a good relief, but the problem would be too much rainfall uh, 
in a short amount of time. So that can actually trigger flooding. And that is something that we don't want. Flooding, mudslides, landslides, that, that's the kind of thing to expect from a tropical storm that is close enough to bring such impact. So that would be undesirable. But the rainfall is definitely needed. But we can see here that by Monday afternoon, the NHT is expecting that Philippe will acquire hurricane status. And this was actually being forecast by quite a bit of models. Matter of fact, let's go on to some model data now. And we're kicking starting with the model intensity guidance here we can see it so uh, most models agree that this will become a hurricane they're kind of all over the place in terms of what intensity could be cat we're seeing a lot fewer from major hurricane which is cat 3 or above so cat 3 4 or 5 is major hurricane territory right there we see that one model expecting a cat 4 hurricane and if you watch last evening's updates we saw where the high-res models were expecting that the system could become a major hurricane i mean it wouldn't be impossible once conditions are conditioned out of there, but I'm not expecting a cat four out of Philippe, but we'll see what eventually happens with it. As we take a look at the model track guidance, we're seeing some more agreement. This is what we love to see compared to a couple days ago when these were just all over the place. So uh, we're seeing this consistency in that curve expected up to the north, but some models want to delay that curve and has the system moving a bit further to the west, closer to the islands, similar to what the Euro model has been suggesting. So finally, let's go on to what the Euro and the Canadian are expecting. Let's start out with Euro. So this is as we head to Sunday, go into Monday, and there we can see the system being in very close proximity to the islands. And remember, it is a slow moving storm as well. So should this actually move close enough, it is not going to be quickly making its way out, which would prolong all that rainfall activity if there will be any. But, event, uh, but eventually the Euro has it that hey, will be making its way out and then further intensifying as a hurricane, not as quickly as what the National Hurricane Center is anticipating. As for the Canadian model now, take a look at this. So it is showing that very close approach as well. Not landfall, but just uh, being so close to the point where impacts could be felt. Now going back to the satellite imagery, here we can see Philippe and it is not a very symmetrical storm, at least not yet, because of the wind shear. So the western side of it has a lot less activity compared to the east. So the southern east is where all of that activity, all the convection is currently displaced. So if the system gets a lot more symmetrical and then makes that close approach, then impacts could definitely be felt across some islands. But we'll see what eventually happens with it in that regard. But of course, I'm here to keep you guys posted on all that is happening with it. There is no absolute guarantee of impacts. I will say that, guys. It is uh, just very interesting to me how the euro, and of course, we know that euro is one of the most accurate uh, even ranked as the most accurate uh, model out there is consistently showing the system making a closer approach than what the National Hurricane Center uh, the National Hurricane Center's cone forecast is depicted. But as I said, I'll keep you guys posted. And that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this update. So I trust and hope you found it to be quite informative. But if you have any questions as usual, please do leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you once I get the chance to do so. And as always, remember to be weatherwise.